What's going on guys? JD at JD's Custom Buggies. I uh, want to do another quick vid. Uh, explaining CDIs, AC or DC. So, most older buggies, uh, Europe Dogs Crossfire, stuff like that, um, were, old Carter Talents were wired AC. Uh, newer buggies, nowadays, you know, the newer Trailmasters and Hammerheads, um, they are wired DC. So, what is the difference between AC and DC CDI? This is an AC CDI, this is a DC CDI. Now, I would say that normally an AC CDI is smaller than a DC CDI, but that's not necessarily the case because, oh, about 10 years ago, performance CDIs, they were almost the size of what a DC CDI is now. Um, I've actually seen AC CDIs this size. So, what it's pertaining to is how the buggy is wired. Um, magnetos to put out AC power so all the buggies are basically wired the same except for how they're wired to the CDI so if it's AC wired the uh, you have plugs on your CDI the CDI is being powered by the magneto all right if it's DC wired it is being powered by the battery 12 volts direct current DC so how can you tell well CDIs, they have two sets of plugs. You have one side with uh, two pins, and then you have the other side with four pins. I'm going to use this um, test light as a pointer. So, they're wired the same. The pins are the same, except for one difference, okay? Um, the upper, this upper corner here, I guess would be your left-hand corner. That's your um, trigger wire coming in, and that's coming from your stator. The one next to it, uh, upper right hand corner on a four pin, pin plug is going to the coil. The two pins on the bottom of the four pin are both ground. They could be wired, uh, either pin will work, it doesn't matter, they're both ground pins. On the two pin side, the top one is for a kill switch. That'll ground out your, your CDI. If you have a push button kill switch on the dashboard of your buggy, that's what it's activating right there and killing the spark. And then the bottom one, is the power that is where the CDI grabs power from electrical power to function it's an AC CDI this bottom plug here on the two side you know on the double side um, is grabbing power straight from the magneto okay there is a um, if you look on your uh, buggy's motor the wiring harness coming out of it from the stator uh, you have three plugs that are into a square or three wires that go into a square plug and then you have two bullet connectors one's got a blue wire with a white tracer and the other one usually has a black wire with a red tracer the blue and white wire which is actually going to go in this corner here on either or CDI that is the trigger that is the wire that tells the CDI when it's time to fire okay um, the black wire with the red tracer is your AC power coming from the magneto okay from coming from the stator and that on AC CDI that feeds power and that's going to go to that bottom plug over here now on a dcci they're all wired this plugs are all the same uh the same plug is for the trigger the same plug is for the coil the same plugs are for the ground the top over here is still for the kill switch the difference is is that um it's still your power pin but instead of getting it from the magneto or ac power alternating current from the magneto it's actually grabbing from the key switch dc power so when you turn the key on um, your ignition wire is basically feeding 12 volts to the CDI, so it's running off your battery, okay? How can I tell if I have AC or DC? Very simple. Take a test light. If you go in the back of the harness and stick this in the back of the harness so it's touching a wire, turn your key. If it's DC, it will light up. If it's AC, it will not light up. And the reason for that is DC, you're getting as, as soon as you turn the key on, it's throwing the DC or the 12 volt power from your battery to this pin on the CDI to power it up. This guy's really not getting power until the motor starts cranking. Okay, and as the magneto generates, that's what or starts spinning and generates AC current, and that's what's powering the AC CDI. All right, so like I said, easy way to tell, let's go to your power pin, which is the bottom on the, on the double side. And stick your test light in there with the wires all hooked up. The harnesses will be in there. And then turn your key. And if it lights up, it's DC.
All right. Advantages or disadvantages? Some people say that DC CDIs um, do give a more consistent and a hotter spark. I don't know if that's necessarily true. I know there are some DC CDIs on the market that are badass and do give better performance and they just happen to be DC. Um, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if there's an advantage as far as one running better than the other. Disadvantages? AC CDI, uh, as long as the motor's running, it's getting power. Okay, so if you started the motor, took off the, you know, disconnected the battery and tossed it in the woods, the motor's still going to run. DC CDI is dependent on the battery, meaning if your regulator starts to go bad or something in your stator is not charging your battery or sending um, current to the regulator to charge the battery, as the battery drains down, it's going to start running bad. It's going to start misfire and it's going to start running bad. And uh, so it's dependent on the battery being charged or having a fully charged battery. And it's only going to run as good as that battery, you know, the current or the voltage that that battery is um, holding. So if everything's functioning correct, there really is no disadvantage. Um, but again, if the, if the charging system's not working, then the DC CDI is only going to fail because it can't get power anymore. Um, as the battery drains down, it's sending weaker signal or weaker power to the CDI, and this is dependent on the battery. Um, me personally, right now, I run AC. I run AC. The Earth Dog is already wired AC. I run AC on the track uh, for MBX. Um, kind of the same premise when I used to race cars. I didn't run power steering. Um, I'd run a, rather run a manual steering car only because you know what you got. If you get used to the manual steering, um, you know, it might be a little harder to turn, especially when you're going slower, parade laps and caution laps and stuff like that. But while you're driving, it really isn't that much harder to turn than a, than a power steering system. But if you had a power steering system and the belt broke, it's actually tougher to turn power steering without the belt um, in a power steering pump than it would be to drive manual. So it's just one less thing for the brake. Um, at, at least, you know, and so for me, once the buggy started, I'm just hesitant to depend on the battery right now. You know what I mean? If the charging system happens to fail, I'm in the middle of a race. This is, uh, you know, having a DC CDI is slowly going to get worse towards the end of the race. Um, where the AC CDI is just dependent on the motor running. So, um, obviously just to give you a, a size comparison nowadays, most of the CDIs I do see, yes, the, uh, the DC is quite a bit larger. Okay. Get on the high performance versions. AC, DC. So you can see there's a size difference. Like I said, uh, not necessarily the case 100% because I have seen some rather large AC CDIs in my day. Um, the other thing is that the stock Trailmaster CDI is actually in between these two sizes. It almost, at a glance, looks like it could just pass for an AC CDI, but it's actually DC. It's just the housing is a little bit smaller. So, um, one of our videos here, I have some, um, I have some information gathered up I'd like to share with everybody about the difference in CDIs, and we'll get to that one day. Um, and maybe even go over the whole electrical system. So I just wanted to kind of break that down between AC and C, uh, DC CDIs. Hopefully this helps you out. Um, hopefully I'm interesting enough, hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm gonna try and kind of pass on the useful information as I've gathered up in my years messing with these things. And uh, if you need parts, by all means, please visit gotbuggies.com, JD's Custom Buggies website. Thank you.